Hey everybody, um, had a request recently for how I lay up or draw up some of my blanks. Uh, I think this should cover what, uh, what I do. Everyone has a little different process and even within what I'm gonna do uh, today, there's a couple different ways to do it. Um, but hopefully I'm gonna try and just cover what I think is the easiest. Other people have different ways of doing it. You can explore those. This is mainly to the folks that want to follow what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, I hope it helps. So first we're gonna cut out, uh, hopefully you don't need help with uh, laying a pattern down. So literally we're just tracing the outside of either, either a pattern or an existing handle that we like the shape of. So this is a, a eight quarter uh, lumber. Um, so obviously like we're not gonna, you know, we're gonna need to thin this down eventually. First, I cut out my uh, blank though. All right, this part should be pretty easy for most to get. Uh, just use light pressure, let the saw do all the work. You shouldn't be uh, driving it into there, but just follow your pattern. Uh, it should be pretty straightforward. Um, you know, if you're having to push too far, you're getting some burning, you might, you might want to check how old your blade is, that kind of thing. There could be some, cl uh, some cleaning you could do. Um, but otherwise that should be pretty straightforward. All right, so we got our blank cut out. Boom. Next, we want to get our center line. Uh, I'm going to put it in the vise here. I use uh, one of these deals where it kind of auto finds your uh, center line. You can obviously just m measure and mark it, use a square. It doesn't, it doesn't particularly matter. Again, this is a guide. It doesn't have to be dead, dead center. Um, you're going to end up shifting around a lot, give or take, uh, some of the other things that are going on, whether how the, the head's fitting, um, whether the eye was crooked, that, that kind of thing. So it's not super, super critical. The next is I'm going to measure off this center line and I want, uh, I think it's about a half inch on either side. And that's going to be the area that I essentially cut out. All right. So you can see, I got my center line. I drew my two sides here. I'm just going to extend those to the top. Again, I'm going something kind of rough. You know, I want to, I want it close, but I'm not going to get bent out of shape here. This one started to curve in, so I got to kind of go up higher on that. And this is so I can just cut it out. So it doesn't have to, again, be perfect. Um, it's a good guy. Some people are doing this by hand. I'm not that good. So now we're going to flip it, do the same on the other side. All right. I got my front and my back done. Um, and now I'm just bringing my center lines just literally right to there. And now I am going to get my center line for the top now. So for my eye. Boom. And so the, after this, we're going to go trace, um, you, you would trace your eye, but at this point, uh, the bit I'm using for this is actually quite a bit smaller. So we're going to end up trimming away more than what we're going to do, uh, or more than I'm going to do right now in this example of just showing how I mark up. So let me bring this back out. So just as an easy go, I'm going to be cutting off right along these lines on the outside. And so again, I'll just have a, a thin down blank. Now, um, you can go, uh, once you trace your eye and you have your width there, a lot of times uh, you're gonna, I will use a bandsaw again to remove even more material. But I think the original question or the original uh, person that was contacting me that wanted some help, uh, I think they got it from there. But hopefully, and you can see this is not perfect. I mean, I cut it out of the bandsaw. I mean, that's, that's actually, you know, that's pretty good. But it, it, this is not 100% square. 
Uh, and that's why you have a little bit of wiggle room in there. You're going to have to eyeball things. And as you shape and as you adjust things, um, you, you know, you'll be able to uh, address that as it comes. So here, if we had already measured our eye and traced that out, we might have uh, run a little bit tighter line here. Uh, but we just wanted to do the kind of the most simple uh, blank that I could think of. The only thing I did leave out here is I didn't mark up where I kick out for my palm swell. You'll see it kind of kick out right now. Uh, a lot of times I will actually mark that out. I didn't on this because this is part of a project. Uh, I have six of these uh back to back that I'm doing. So I already, I, I know exactly where I'm, where I'm going with these. So I didn't do it this time, but I would recommend until you're really comfortable, just mark up everything. And there we have it. So that's the basics of cutting out your blank. And you can see, you can see just carefully, like, boom, this is a little bit fatter on this side, but that's fine. I mean, that's, I mean, on final, Shaping, I'm just going to take more off this side and keep it towards the center. Not a big deal. We've got a great little form here to start with. Um, you don't have to trim uh, for your eye up here if you don't want to. I mean, you can trace for it and then just, you know, you're just going to have more to remove. But I'll probably trace it and then just shave just a, you know, a few millimeters off each side uh, just to save some time. But I wouldn't have done that when I first started. Um, yeah, hope that helps.